Welcome back to Inspels, everyone. It looks like MVIS did have quite the run today, and it looks like it could possibly continue going to tomorrow as they did end the day with 19 million volume. And on average, they have 13 million. So we could possibly see a continuation here. I'm going to go over a quick analysis on what has to happen for this one to break out. So let's jump into this. So I want to go to far with you guys here on MBIS. And the reason I want to go to far with you guys here is because I wanted to show you guys a very key resistance that we're trying to break above going to tomorrow as this very key resistance is where we did get previously rejected multiple times. And we did see previously that we were trying to come up just like we are now. And we were trying to break out and we did get rejected multiple times. And I had to mention this because if this does happen going into the next couple of days, then we could definitely get rejected and sell off again. But again, I'm very bullish on MVIS. I do like the 20 May crossing above the 50 right here. So again, that could definitely give us that huge breakout momentum play that we're looking for. But there's very key resistance. And the reason I want to go over this is because if it does break above it going into the next couple of days, then we could see a huge breakout going into MVIS. But again, we did have that huge rejection here at 1932. Um, you can see at that very same point in time at 1932, we did get rejected at this point. Um, even though we did break new highs at this point, we still did get rejected at this point. This is a very key resistance for us. And 1932, again, we did get rejected at this point as well. And you can see we did when we did sell off below this, we can see we got a huge red candle that came in because a lot of people lost confidence in the stock at that point in time. And then we also did get a rejection at this point. This candle wick did not hold above the 1932 mark. And it looks like it did barely feel right below it. So again, 1932 is very key. Um, breaking into that $20 mark would be the very um, safe play for us, of course. But again, going into tomorrow, going into the next couple of days, I just wanted to go over this with you guys on the very key resistance that we need to break above. Again, 1932 is very key. I know we're trying to break above into the 18s already. And a lot of people are wondering, um, are we going to be possibly breaking out or is it something that's going to possibly continue to consolidate and possibly even sell off since we have been um, breaking out this whole time. So again, ultimately MVIS is consolidating. We want this one to break above 1932 and then our very key resistance that we wanted to break above, of course, um, to break new highs would be at 2291. The reason why I say 2291 is because we did get multiple rejection at this point. We could see we did have our huge wick at this point um, and we did get rejected and it looks like we did have our sell off and we also did get rejected at this point back here. So again, um, breaking into that 2291 mark, breaking over 23 and then breaking into that 1932 mark, breaking into at least the 20s would give us that bullish momentum we're looking for on MVIS. But however, like I said, the 20 may cross another 50 could definitely give us that momentum we're looking for. Uh, and we did end the day with a lot of volume today. Again, they ended the day with 19 million volume on uh, average of 13 million. And on the MACD here, you guys can see we have the EMA lines crossing above the MACD here. That could definitely give us another possible breakout here. Um, but again, we're going to make sure we are careful here as the EMA lines are crossing, crossing above the MACD in the middle of the MACD, not in the beginning of it, like we did see previously when we had our huge breakout. So again, MVIS definitely still on the watch. Um, we're going to see if this one can break out going to tomorrow as well um, above that 1932 mark, at least in the next couple of days. And if you guys are looking for all these penny stock breakouts throughout the day, we do this at instabulls.com. So check out instabulls.com, click become a bull, and then you guys can see all these penny stock breakouts throughout the day. Um, and if you guys have been supporting the channel, I do appreciate every one of you guys, everybody that's been in the comment section, much love to you guys. Um, and if you guys do like this video, it does help other people find it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.